So today we're gonna talk about inner child and the overeating. So who is asking more and more food? And the answer is your inner child. Uh, on my first webinar, uh, you can see the recording of it. Uh, if you did not see it, um, if you did not join me for the live webinar, the link is below this video. So on the first webinar, I was uh, talking about who is the inner child and how can you recognize, how can you notice your inner child, which word he uses and how can you notice the inner child in other people. So. Uh, I will just go briefly that uh, about the inner child and the inner child is the part of you that uh, uh, is asking to be healed, is the part of you that uh, went through traumatic event in your childhood and could not process this traumatic event. So eating addictions or eating um, disorders, eating dependence is formed during the oral state and this is the state when the child uh, was just born and it's from the birth to 12 18 months the part of the body where uh, a child receives the biggest pleasure is mouth and the babies uh, like to suck uh, mommy's breast uh, bottle they like to chew blankets uh, they put everything in their mouth uh, Taking out from the mother's breast too early can lead to serious addictions later. For example, a person might have a problem with weight, uh, all type of eating disorders. The person can develop a smoking addiction, uh, alcoholism, biting pencils, chewing gums, anything that mm, related to mouth. Oral people or people with an oral type of personality uh, are trying to achieve satisfaction or receive joy through their mouth and because uh, at this age from 0 to 18 months a child depends completely on his mother at this period a baby also develops a sense of trust and control uh, the first uh, emotional contact is a reciprocal smile which happens between the first and second month of child's life an anxiety of uh, the absence of the mother develops uh, at about seven months and the uh, fears and uh, fears of strangers and anxieties continues to develop for between eight and nine months. So if the child was uh, not with his mother during the first nine months especially, he will develop some type of eating disorder. Or eating addiction and today uh, I would like to talk to you about eight reasons why people eat more than they need and uh, the first reason is uh, food addiction as a compensation for parental love if we did not receive enough love in childhood uh, from your mother from your father or from both parents then you'd probably develop a um, eating addiction you also might uh, develop eating addiction if uh, your parents loved your siblings siblings more than you or maybe uh, your grandparents had favorites and it was not you so uh, you did not receive enough love and um, you have to remember that you have a container from your mother and container from your father so mother and father should fill out their containers with their love and if you did not have a lot of love from your mother but had enough love from the father maybe too much love from your father one container cannot fulfill the other and as a result we expect uh, that our partner our lover will fulfill um, that pain that we have inside if you have a partner but he might be busy or he might work a lot or he might not give you the love that you need your container is still gonna be empty if you don't have a partner then you will uh, demand uh, demand it from your close friends from your children and of course they also cannot fulfill this container there are two different types of love so people begin to develop eating 
mechanism. When you feel sad, you eat. When you feel angry, you eat. When you feel that you want to be loved and you don't don't have this love in your life, you feel sad, you feel bad, and you are going to the free refrigerator and you are eating something so you can somehow compensate, lower the desire for love. And food is the easiest way to replace a lack of love. Mm. Because we really feel pleasure, we really can feel the food inside of us. So we change our focus from our painful feelings inside uh, towards uh, taste of food. And the first feeling, uh, feelings of love we receive through mother's milk. When mother is giving us milk. And uh, baby's brain is not uh, developed at this time. And all his receptors uh, are concentrated in his mouth. So he feels pleasure through his mouth. And breast milk is um, fat and a little bit sweet. So that's why uh, we like uh, fat food and sweet food. We usually don't have cravings for carrots or for um, broccoli. Um, when we open the refrigerator and even if we see carrots, we usually don't want to eat carrots because carrots cannot replace um, love for us. Uh, we like sweet and fat stuff because they actually, when people eat sweet stuff, they, they're also fat, right? And you feel more relaxed. Uh, and your body is um, feeling better, the anxiety level is going down. So when we feel sad, we want to eat something sweet. When we feel tired, we want to eat something that will give us energy. When we feel angry, we like um, to chew something like piece of meat or nuts or chips. Um, food has a wide variety of different uh, flavors. And those different flavors can replace our emotions. We can replace one with another. And diet will never work if our inner container of love is empty. And um, people can go and try different diets. They can go for, to the nutritionist. Uh, they can try different sport activities. Uh, but uh, the problem is not with the diet. The problem is that you are not um, fulfilling the pain that you have inside. And exercises won't help you to fulfill this pain. So in order to lose uh, weight, in order to start eating healthy, uh, in my opinion, you should first work on your psychological problems. And when you're going to work on your psychological problems, then you can you can add diet and exercises uh, to achieve a faster, uh, better result. So you need to heal your inner child. So at this uh, workshop that will start in October, we will actually work on your inner child and we will do exercises that will help you to connect with your inner child. And on the second uh, week of uh, the online training, we're gonna do three exercises. The first one is uh, uh, three wishes by the goldfish. Every child want to feel loved, want to be happy and want to be protected. And this is gonna be our three wishes uh, that we will ask the goldfish to, to fulfill for us, right? Uh, the second exercise, exercise uh, will be my divine parents. You will have a chance to feel uh, the importance and value of your life. You will have, it's going to be an exercise where you can experience the joy because you were born and you will receive a divine blessing to be happy and successful in life. And the third exercise will be uh, the divine egg exercise. And this is going to be uh, an exercise to reborn. We will, you will go through the reborn process psychologically. And by reborning, uh, by experiencing these uh, feelings, you will be able to 
kind of to recreate your life from the beginning. So this is going to be the week that's called birth as a miracle of life. If you're not going to work on your inner child, then uh, you might have a reverse effect. Um, by limiting yourself, when you begin to limit, if you begin to limit yourself in calories, if you will try to avoid fat and sweet foods, your anxiety level will go up. And because uh, you are trying to replace uh, stress level with food, so you, you kind of like suppressing your feelings, uh, but by lowering, lowering calories, your anxiety level will go up. So uh, at first you were eating to keep your anxiety down, but now you're limiting the amount of food that you eat. You're, uh, you're eating healthier, you're eating um, less fat food, and your body will experience even greater stress. And as a result, you, you will probably 99% have a nervous breakdown and you will have uncontrollable eating uh, and you will gain weight back and often people gain more than they had before. Um, and sometimes it can be three, five, and even ten times more than the real than you really need because now your anxiety level is here, and you need more food uh, to lower your anxiety level down. People with a strong will uh, they can limit themselves, but often they will switch from one addiction to another. Uh, and in, if you don't want to do this, if you don't want to switch from one addiction to another, you need to work on your psychological problems. You need to work on your inner child. And you need a professional person uh, who can help you to do it. Meditations, free meditations on YouTube um, doesn't really work because this mechanism was formed uh, when you were born and it's extremely strong. Uh, just simple meditation when you close your eyes and imagining your inner child and giving him some love uh, is not gonna help you uh, you need to work with a professional person who will guide you and who will support you during the whole process and who will help you to develop uh, a series of exercise that will help you to overcome and your that will help you to heal your inner child and it's also very important to understand what type of love are you trying to suppress is it love from your mother is it uh, from your father or maybe it's an anger for your mother because she did not protect you from your father or opposite uh the free tips uh, as i promised the first free tip what can you do um, to work with your um, inner child uh create a symbol that will represent something that you really really like and something that you really really enjoy uh, you need to create a talisman of love or symbol of love it can be your picture a picture of your children it can be a picture from your childhood something that will bring joy when you look at this picture and you need to put this picture on the refrigerator or inside the refrigerator and um, you need to change the location of the picture every three days so you can put it on the top shelf then you can move it to the bottom shelf um, because if you're gonna put it and leave it on the same place your brain will ignore it after three days and you will not notice it and you need to see this picture for at least 30 days. So within the next 30 days, this picture will remind you that love does not live in your refrigerator. So every time when you open the refrigerator, you will see this picture and your brain will understand that love and the food are two different things. And uh, within the first week, probably nothing is gonna happen, but in 30 days, uh, you might notice that when you are opening the refrigerator, instead of grabbing some ice cream or some uh, fat uh, sausages, you will um, 
take an apple maybe or maybe you will decide to drink a, to drink some juice instead uh, again in order for this tip to work you need um, to move your symbol of love around every three days 